This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. iPhone 5 rumors, Android 5.0 rumors, and a Kindle Fire killer from Google themselves? You got it. It's Rumor Roundup, Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. Round them up! Woohoo! Hey, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to Rumor Roundup, Techno Buffalo on Rev 3. I'm Noah Kravitz, editor at large for Techno Buffalo, bringing you the latest, greatest, and most outlandish rumors from the world of consumer technology for the week ending today, Friday, March 23rd, 2012. I feel just a little tiny bit like Prince when I do things like that. Your 2000 party over. Nah, never mind. A rumor that's really just an expose, an expose, an uncovering of some lines of code in the latest version of iOS, and a totally preposterous rumor I wholeheartedly disagree with. Our own Todd Hasselton reporting that some lines of code in the latest release of iOS 5.1 point to a couple of features we expect to see in the next iPhone. One is the use of LTE 4G technology for voice calls. In particular, what the points to is a dialog box that will pop up saying switching to 4G, enabling 4G will end your voice call. Do you want to continue? So that would point to two things. One, 4G technology on a phone, aka the next iPhone, and two, a lack of voice over LTE technology on said iPhone. Now this is, you know, this is iOS 5.1, but at the very least it's another piece of evidence confirming all of our suspicions that the next iPhone will in fact support 4G in the way of LTE and not just in the way of changing the icon and the status bar from 3G to 4G to, to uh, pacify AT&T's marketing group. Ugh. Anyway, the other rumor which is a little more outlandish and preposterous, is uh, <laughs> comes from a, a source called the Mail Business Newspaper. I'm sure I mispronounced that name. I apologize. And this says that Apple has placed an order for a large quantity of 4.6 inch Retina displays, which must mean that a new iPhone is coming with 4.6 inch displays. Not only would this signify uh, an incredible design change going from the current iPhone, all the iPhones which have had 3.5 inch displays, jumping all the way up to 4.6, which does not seem like something Apple would do, but also the report says that these phones are going to launch in quarter two of this year which also makes no sense because the last iteration of iPhone, the 4S, just came out towards the end of last year. So I don't know, I can see the next iPhone getting a little bit bigger. I don't think there's any way Apple's gonna jump from 3.5 to 4.6 in display size. I also think it's gonna come later in this year. Speaking of fives, Android 5.0, codename Jelly Bean, may be coming in quarter three of this year. It better be coming sometime this year. A report from our very, very favorite purveyor of outlandish tech rumors, Digitimes, says that Jelly Bean will be coming in Q3. Google I.O., I just got my press pass for Google I.O., I'll be there. It's been pushed back a little bit this year from the springtime to late summer, or I'm sorry, late June uh, into the summer. So since it's a dev conference, Google usually uses it as a platform to either preview or full-on unleash the next big iteration of what they're working on. Then again, we're still waiting for uh, Ice Cream Sandwich to roll out. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe, well, I've got a theory, but we'll get to that after the break. First, a word from our friends at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you like alternative apparel brands like Stussy, Hurley, and Kid Robot, but hate wasting all of your cash on them, then listen up. You can score premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping service just for guys serving up crazy deals on surf, street, and skatewear at prices so low, they just might melt your brain. It's called Jack Threads. There's a wait list to join. You know how we do at Techno Buffalo. I really want to say that. There's a wait list to join, but since you're a Techno Buffalo fan, you can skip right to the head of the line. No waiting at all. Just go to jackthreads.com slash techno. That's jackthreads.com slash T-E-C-H-N-O to get your hookups on all the deals on the premium alternative apparel brands right now. So what are you waiting for? Go! All right, and last but certainly not least, we return to the land of Android. Is Google working with Asus on a Kindle Fire killer? Reports say yes. It looks like Google has tapped Asus to create 
the Nexus tablet and it may launch as soon as this May. Even more interesting is that the tablet is said to be priced as low as $199 or even $149, which would undercut the pricing of Amazon's Kindle Fire, which is uh, leapt to the top of the charts as the most popular, the best-selling Android tablet in the land, in the world, I believe, and really the first Android tablet to take a significant chunk out of Apple's dominance in the tablet space with their iPad line. The tablet is said to be modeled off of the ASUS MIMO 370T, which was shown off at Mobile World Congress, not just by ASUS, but also by NVIDIA, running an NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core chipset. Apparently, in an effort to keep the cost down, Google has asked ASUS to pull that model from their lineup, retrofit it with a different lower powered CPU, possibly a Qualcomm Snapdragon, and get it ready uh, under the official Google Nexus moniker. So the rumors are that the Nexus tablet built by ASUS is gonna sell for under 200 bucks, gonna be coming in the next couple months, uh, probably during the month of May. All right, that'll do it for this week. Hopefully we didn't lose a sponsor on that last little bit. Thanks again to Jack Threads for hooking us up with the sponsorship of this week's episode, hooking you up with the deals and all that crazy streetwear that the kids are wearing these days. Thanks to Rev3 for having us. Thanks to you for watching us again. Much more on all these stories and all kinds of other stuff over on technobuffalo.com, so check that out. In the meantime, I will be back next week rounding up more of the best and craziest rumors just for you. Until then, my name's Noah. The website's Technobuffalo. Round them up! Woohoo!